Okay, going live, Facebook and Instagram. So let me get this up on Instagram to you guys. Coffee and a. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eyebrows only on Instagram. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, got that. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm live in both. So um, for you, for you guys that are on Instagram, um, if you don't catch all of this, because I'm probably not going to save it on instagram you guys can go to facebook and my group is called e then you and you guys can catch the rest of it okay cool so that's what the name of the group is on facebook hi you guys on facebook next time i'm probably going to do a share screen on facebook for this but if you guys have been on Facebook Live um, ever since they did the update in April and May, there's a lot of glitches. So you guys are just going to hear me talk. So this is like a new little thing that I wanted to start called Coffee in a Case Study. I want to see how it goes. If you guys like um, this kind of format, comment, like, share, send me a message and say, hey, do more of these because I think they're great. Um, for two people that are in my audience and I have people who want to lose um, weight learn macros who want to eat better get leaner have more food freedom I love food freedom you guys know I eat chocolate every day as long as I've got it on deck and so I have a lot of people that are just on their own journey but coffee in a case study will also be awesome for um good morning good morning you guys on facebook um will also be great for coaches that want to learn more about um coaching clinical application of coaching macros macro adjustments but i want to talk about a case study of a client today in particular so you guys who are wanting to count macros do count macros coach people on macros um, can also kind of have some insight of what is possible um, with some really good coaching. So we're going to do a case study today. I'm going to talk about a client who has been with me for five months. Again, um, in the future, I will do a Facebook screen share, leave people anonymous if you guys are like, this is something that I do like. So I'm going to talk about a client. We're just going to call her um, Client A. So Client A is going to be her name. So I'm going to walk you guys through what she she was wanting to accomplish accomplish and I've got her application up in front of me and she actually applied um, in late um, October ish of last year so basically this client uh, was 46 years old 250 15 pounds and five six I'm gonna type this in the Facebook chat cool good morning you guys on Facebook too um, but 46 years old, 215 pounds and five foot six. Her family had a, has a background of heart disease. Um, she used to do, um, a lot of cardio. Um, but she kind of got to the point where she said, and I got to turn this a little bit, you guys, cause I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Actually, let me prop. I don't want to. I, I want to drink the coffee. <laughs> I don't want to prop it up on my coffee mug. Okay, cool. Um, but um, she is someone that said, like, as I'm getting older, like, my metabolism is seeming slower. It feels so much slower. And she said, like, when I was younger, I was able to kind of, like, change up my nutrition adding a little bit of exercise and the pounds would just come off in a couple of months time. Now she was kind of like, hey, 
the weight is not budging, even when I do healthy eating, even when I'm doing a lot of cardio. And she's like, what else can I do? Because these things just aren't working anymore. And so when it came to like her foods and stuff, they're pretty decent. Um, she was eating a lot of like high quality protein. So she was eating chicken breast. She was eating whole eggs, egg whites, ground turkey, um, seafood like shrimp, fish, a lot of things. And she was like, I love bread. I love, love, love bread. I do not want to get rid of it, but I see that you are coaching women who are eating bread all the time. You're eating chocolate. I see you're eating bread. You're having avocado toast every morning. She told me that she really, really loved Hawaiian rolls, um, flat out bread, sandwich thins, brown rice. Um, and I have all these details from her because when our clients come to work uh, with us, um, I dissect everything they're doing. So I have extensive notes on what they're eating, what they're doing, what their weights have been like, everything. And she quoted me, and I'm going to put this in the Facebook group. And if she's watching, she's probably like, I know you're talking about me. She said, quote, bread and salt are my enemies. She felt like I can't have those or they're going to be basically the death of me because I love them so, so, so much. So if you guys are someone who loves bread, definitely let me know. But like her current workout routine was her working out three to five days per week. Um, she was doing some Orange Theory classes um, and things like that and was kind of supplementing with some running, supplementing with some biking, some walking, all of that. And when she came to me, she was a size um, 16, 218 pounds. And she was like, I feel most comfortable when I'm a size 10 or 12. I don't want to be skinny. I don't want to be, you know, someone that looks like they did these crazy things to lose weight. They got really, really skinny. I want to just look good. I want to look fit. I want to look curvy with some muscle tone. And I want to do it with um, out doing crazy things. And she didn't want to do keto. She was like having like butter in her coffee sounded disgusting. Giving up the bread was not really an option. And she had done some other things in the um, past before like Weight Watchers, but she was wanting to actually incorporate healthy eating and know what to do. She said, I don't want to do Weight Watchers. I don't want to do meal plans because those don't tell me what to do after the fact. I want to learn nutrition. I want to learn um, what is um, sustainable so I can do it by by myself without a coach and not really look at you know what um, these like meal plans are just telling me to do and I don't know how to do when things end and so we wanted to come up with a program for her that was flexible that allowed her to have some of the activity that wasn't necessarily completely always required because she lives a really busy life. Um, she wanted to make sure that she wasn't giving up foods when she was wanting to eat out with her friends and her girlfriends and people in her community. And she just wanted to have something that was super sustainable. And so she opted um, to do macros because we do macro based um, coaching with our program and we started her back in October of last year and in the very first week um, she lost a couple of pounds and she was kind of like so I feel like I'm eating more food than I'm ever eating and she was you know trying to figure out the balance and the learning curve of macros but she started to realize, like, I think I can do this. I'm eating more food than I get on Weight Watchers. I'm eating more food when I was just clean eating, and I'm full. And all she really had to do after week one is kind of find her flow of what meals fit her macros best, and that included the bread. We kept the bread in. We did not take it out. And when she started um, tracking with us in the first three weeks, she already got down um, to two. 109 pounds. So she ended up losing about three to four pounds in the very um, first few weeks. And we started carb cycling her um, right on week number two. Yep, we started carb cycling her week number two. And we gave her one day per week that had more food and more calories so that she could go out to eat, um, eat out with friends and all of those things. And when people are thinking, okay, what does that look like? With her carb cycle, she was eating over two 
200 carbs. So some of those little Hawaiian rolls that she loved, they were only like 25, 30 carbs out of the 200 carbs that she could actually get. So when she was with us, I'm going to give you guys her numbers. Let me, let me switch over to this tab. It's slower because I'm on Facebook too. Um, her very first week, this was five, six months ago. Um, she was eating, actually it's more like eight months now. She was eating 1,600 calories. I know a lot of women go on weight loss programs and they're like, I got to eat 13. I got to eat 1,400. I've talked talk to a lot of women on phone calls that are eating 1,000. They're eating 1,100. They're eating 1,200. She was eating 1,600 calories on week number one. And that was because she actually under ate. I start, started her at 1,700 and something calories for weight loss. And so week number one, 212. Week number two, 209. Week number four, 208. Week number five, 207. Week number six, 206. Week number seven, 206. Week number eight, 205 pounds. Week number nine, 204. Week number 10, 203. Week number 11, 200. So basically three months in, she lost 12 pounds. She lost one pound every single week with macro counting. So I'm gonna type this in the chat here. Good morning. So my clients are on here. She went from 212 to 200 in 12 weeks. I know you guys see all this crazy bull crap out there of 20 pounds in 30 days, 25 pounds in 30 days. That's 1% of the population. I lost 120 pounds, one pound per week, every week, just about. And I lost 120 pounds in um, 16 months. Some weeks I lost three, some weeks, weeks I lost none, some weeks three fourths of a pound. She lost one pound every single week for three months. And in her very first week, you guys, she was eating 1,640 calories. And in week number 12, or actually at the, the completion of week number 12, so getting ready to start um, her fourth month, she was eating 1,647 calories. So, so think about that, you guys. In three months' time, in okay, I'm looking for my charger. <laughs> In three months time, she lost one pound every single week and I never cut her calories. Ever, ever, ever. We actually had some weeks where she ate 1731, 1750. In three months, we never cut her calories. She lost one pound every single week with macro tracking and lifting and some cardio. That's it. That is it. And we got her to the point where she was having several um, high carb days per week. We had diet breaks where she got to have high carbs for more than three, five days per week. And so fast forward now, um, she has went from 212 pounds to 180 pounds. And let me roll down to her calories, you guys. Let me roll. It's a ways because she's been with us a while, so I really do have to roll. So you guys can hear me rolling with the mouse. Um, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Go down, go down, go down. <laughs> so far. Um, almost there, almost there. August. Okay, cool. So in August, um, so this is August 8th, eating 1,800 calories. So she went from, back to the chat, she went from 212 pounds down to 180 pounds, you guys. So she's lost 32 pounds, and some days she is now, um, she is now, um, you know, 32 pounds lighter eating more food than when she started. And it's because we carb cycle her, we diet break her, and we go through periods of raising calories so she doesn't metabolically adapt. 
She doesn't hit plateaus because we are not taking food down lower. So here's my client. Months later, she's lost 32 pounds and she's eating the same or if not more on most days every single freaking week. And I'm so just extremely proud of her because she is so busy and she has done this thing. Like she has done it. So she has lost 30 pounds, 32 pounds, and 42 inches. Let me type that in the chat for the Facebook group. She's down 42 inches. She's like a whole new person, and she looks exactly like she wanted to look like. She doesn't look skinny. She looks fit. And even though, you know, she weighs 180 pounds, if I was to show you guys her photo, she looks like 165. She looks amazing. She's super confident. Um, she uses cardio more as a stress relief, not a way to lose weight. And she's not totally restricting all the time. And it's because because of macros and so I mean she has told me again and again and again like this is the only thing that I've been able to do when I get to eat the bread I get to eat the salt I get to um, you know eat out on the weekend I can do things on Sunday and do like you know post church um, you know events where there's food involved and she's great with her food choices she can travel she can do all the things because macros allow her to be able to have a more flexible metabolism she can eat more because her metabolism is higher she can work in the bread she can work in the sweets and because she's thinking about protein carbs and fats she doesn't have these like BS thoughts in her mind if I can't have bread. Your body doesn't know the difference in the macros that are coming in as calories of whether that's brown rice or the Hawaiian muffin, if that makes sense. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to, as you guys like put a couple of questions in here about macros and things like that. Um, we do have macro makeover starting next week. We've got one week. We have less than one week. We've got six days if you guys want to get registered. Um, but let me look at a couple of the positive comments that she has said. Um, so you guys can kind of hear like what her mindset is. Let me roll up. Um, let's see. And then I'll look for the questions you guys have. Um, prioritizing sleep and energy and health. When she was wanting to eat more, we increased food. We listened to her body and then she lost weight. Um, she said, God is good. Yep. God is good. And other things were moving in her life because of her confidence with her body. She was like, this is my new normal and I love it. And hold on, hold on. So remember I told you guys she was a size 16 and she was like a 10 is kind of what I want to be. She's in a size eight. Her friend got her a dress and it fits. And that was months ago. She got into a size eight. She went from a 16 to a size eight. All right, let's see what questions you guys got. Amazing. Yeah, consistency is key. Yes, if you are under eating, we've got to get your calories up so your metabolism does not plateau. Good morning. Okay, cool. Let's see what else we got. Let me see you guys. Let me see you. So it wouldn't be coffee um, in a case study if I don't take a sip. Yep, thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yep. So, yeah, she's been working out and focusing on nutrition. Um, she doesn't work out to lose the weight. She loves it because it fills her cup. It's a place for her for stress relief. Um, and so she lifts and does all of her workouts at home. She works out at home. Yep. Um, Christy said, how long has she been with me? Since October of last year. So since October of last year, um, she has lost 32 pounds. Let me go back. 42 inches, did I say? 
42.75 inches. And she went from a size 16 to a size eight. Yep, size 16 to a size eight, amazing. And I know a lot of you guys are like, well, I want to lose 20 pounds and um, I want to lose 20 pounds in a month. And I don't know if I have, you know, all of the time to wait. Good things take time. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Good things take time. Um, you know, raising your kids to be who they need to be. It takes time. Losing weight. It takes time. Building a business. It takes time. Remodeling your house. If you don't want it to be a crappy job, it takes time. You guys should desire sustainable weight loss. What's the point of starving yourself to try to lose 15 pounds in a month and you can't keep it off anyway? She's done this sustainably with macros and she doesn't have to stress herself to get to the goal. So now she's really just refining where she wants to be and it's super sustainable for her. And she doesn't have to have this like overwhelming stress because it's just happening, happening naturally, slowly, and it should be like a marathon pace. It's not a sprint to lose weight. And so she's doing it the right way. So now she's keeping it off. And this is exactly what she said. It doesn't matter about the scale anymore. I feel good and look better in my clothes. The scale is just one of my measures. The scale is not consuming me anymore. You guys would never know that she was her weight at a size eight. And that's why she's freaking amazing. I myself, I've been 140 pounds at a size four and at a size 12. So it depends on the body composition and macros helps to get you there. Macro can, macros can help you with the body composition and the weight loss. So um, freaking amazing. Oh yeah, Christy's in the macro makeover. Cool, awesome. Awesome. Can't wait to see you inside. So if you guys have any other questions about this, just send them to me. If you're in the Facebook group, um, check them out under there. Um, again, the Instagram live will probably not stay up. Um, so if you want to go to the full video and if you miss some of it, go to Facebook and then go to even like E-V-E-N. Even you, hey Ashley, um, and then you can see the full video there. But if you guys like these coffee, um, coffee and a case study chats where I talk about some of our clients in G Transformation Academy, um, definitely like this and say, when is the next one? When are you going to be doing more so that I know that you guys like them? But um, thank you guys for joining today, and you guys have an amazing day today. Bye, guys.